What happened? How did I get back here? And breakfast, lunch and dinner? Lunch and dinner, and work, 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 work. Bon voyage. I feel oddly guilty for not buying a ticket. Entirely too good. See the doctor? He does love to be in the papers, they're right on it. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a you convincing argument. You might want to see argument. a doctor, sir. Snug as a Are bug on it. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of, uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just, uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? Sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as you the are not did. authorized. Please clear the area immediately. The 
so much to choose from. Be seeing you. Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. Looks so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Do not turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. Never mind. Fact, Just the 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 I hate the to be in the Oh, I, I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris. This time, stop the first point, mate. Safety. Indeed, what I did. without a fuss. Dr. Burlock would like all personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then, or resolve the situation yourself. <gasps> We're life for noise. Pop a joy. This is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. 
drive the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. Remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally? And it turned out he had an older brother who... Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire! Sir, sorry to bother you, sir. But there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous! He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course they're a poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Ye shall not receive me with empty words, for the wrath. The Lord judgeth thee, and he is angry. What have we come to?
see the violence inherent in the system. I've always liked you, actually. Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly. But they did. You can't do that! Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane! Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Now, where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. He's just the sort who would. house movie. If Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil, I'd better be down here, or I shall be cross. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. Thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure.
This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Flush the chemicals. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. If I don't mind poisoning the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Lovely. I've never seen such a day fall in. Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? Happiness is a choice! God, it's all boarded up. What happened? I'll have to break in somehow. Maybe I can find some answers inside, if I can get in somehow. You might want to see a doctor about that. Enjoy like this. I could take these all the time, and I wouldn't have any worries. <laughs>
today. I'm... After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be OK? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Mm. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you and... They lived happily ever after. Oh, a girl like that shipwrecks and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. <laughs>